Let's learn about the distributive property of algebra. The distributive property states a times b plus c equals a times b plus a times c and a times b minus c equals a times b minus a times c. So you have the terms b and c that are added and subtracted inside parentheses and you have the term a outside the parentheses. The A multiplies each item inside the parentheses. You'll need to memorize the distributive property to do algebra. It'll be easy once you see how it works. Let's try it now. To show how the distributive property is used, I will simplify this expression. Negative 5 times 2A minus 6. But first we need to know the multiplication rule. When you multiply two numbers with the same sign, the answer is positive. When you multiply two numbers with different signs, the answer is negative. Let's solve these multiplication problems using the multiplication rule. 3 times negative 8x. Here the two numbers have different signs, so our answer will be negative. Negative 6 times negative 7. The two numbers have the same sign, so our answer will be positive. Nine y times four. Once again, the two numbers have the same sign, so our answer will be positive. Negative n times thirty-one. Negative n is actually negative one times n, so our two numbers have different signs. Our answer will be negative. Back to our expression, negative 5 times 2a minus 6. Follow these steps to simplify using the distributive property. Step 1, write down any invisible positive signs. Step 2, multiply the minus 5 with the first term inside parentheses, 2a. Step 3, multiply the negative 5 with the second term inside the parentheses, negative 6. And step four, write down both answers in the order you got them. Now look at this expression, eight plus nine y times three. This expression is solved the same way as the last one. The term to be multiplied, the three, is just on the right side this time. Step one, write down any invisible positive signs. Step two, multiply the plus three with the first term inside the parentheses, 8. Step 3, multiply the plus 3 with the second term inside the parentheses, 9y. And step 4, write down both answers in the order you got them. The plus sign in front of the 24 is implied. That means we know the 24 is positive here and we don't need to show the plus sign. We made it invisible. Which of these equations shows the distributive property? Pick an equation and then wait a few seconds and we'll show you if you pick the correct one. Visit our website www.highschoolelearning.com for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.